For this project, you're going to have to use a MacBook. And first thing you'll do is go to Safari and type in google.com. Once you're in Google, um, click on Gmail. If someone is logged in, sign out of all accounts and then use another account and sign into your Gmail. But before you do this, you need to make sure you sign out anyone who is signed in. Often kids forget to sign out. Once you sign in to your Gmail, you're gonna click in the upper right corner on the nine dots, that's your drive, and you're gonna go to your slides and you're gonna find your CMA project planner and you're gonna go through the slides and take screenshots of your work. So here's my first project. Um, I'm going to do a shift command four, take a screenshot, let go. It's now on the desktop, go to my next one. This is a video. Now, we're not gonna be able to put videos in, but what you can do is you can just take a screenshot of it, shift command four and drag it over. You can also hit play and screenshot a different part of it. So like right here, I can go to shift command four and get a screenshot of, of part of the video. And you keep repeating that, shift command four, shift command four. Once you have all the screenshots, they will be on your desktop and then you are ready to open up Photoshop and that will be in the next segment. So for the final project, you're going to go to Google and you're going to type in art gallery, two words, and click on images. And you'll see lots of images of art galleries. Um, find one that you like. Think about how many uh, projects you're going to turn in and then find an art gallery with that amount of frames. When you find one you like, you're going to click on it so it's nice and large. And then you can either drag and drop it to the desktop, or you can control click, save image as, save it to the desktop. You can also take a screenshot, which is a shift command four. Any of those will work. Then you're gonna open up Photoshop, click on the magnifying glass in the upper right corner of the computer and type in Photoshop. And Photoshop should pop up. It might also be in the dock as well. There it is. I'm going to new file and always choose default, create. Okay, so there's my Photoshop. I'm going to make it nice and big and you want to make sure all your tools are up. So if you go to window, make sure history is checked, layers is checked, and the last ones, the last four uh, tools, application frame, etc. the last four ones should be checked. So here I have my tools, my layers, and my history. I'm going to drag my art gallery, I'm going to size it so it fits the canvas, and once you're happy with the size, hit the check mark, and there you go. Next, I'm going to drag my images. Uh, my images were on my slideshow and I took screenshots of them, shift command 4. You drag and drop and you put it on the wall. Now, if you go to edit transform perspective, you should be able to alter it so it looks like it's on an angle, if your wall is on an angle. You can also edit transform warp. Anything under the transform tools will help you warp it. I go to my next picture. This is actually a video, but it's gonna show up only as a picture. I size it, I put it on my wall, and once I'm happy with it, I hit the check mark on the top and I just repeat. I take my third image, I size it, I put it on my wall and I hit the check mark above to hit, which is like enter. And then I take my last one, size it, put it on the wall. And this one, I'm going to try to transform it a little bit. So edit transform perspective. And that will allow me to just kind of put it on an angle, make it a little bit more realistic. That's it. When you're done, you want to take a screenshot of it. To take a screenshot is shift command four. And when you shift command four, you get that little cross and you drag it over. And now it's on the desktop. And once it's on the desktop, you're gonna go to your slides and you're gonna go to your last slide, the purple one that says final slides. And um, you're gonna drag and drop it. So here you go, last slide. I'm going to drag and drop, and there it is.
That's it.